guys must love Dan. You must love the way the all around and the every, all five positions are moving. I mean, I was just looking at that position. You had dribble handoff action, then you had from the top of the key point guard to the elbow action, flare screen to a down screen, swing the ball into a post up to your bread and butter, getting Kelly on the block, draws the foul. If you're San Diego, you foul with four or five seconds on the shot clock, and you're like, man, we guarded every possible scenario concept on the floor, and then we foul. What a possession. Well, give the fans an idea how smart you have to be to play in that offense that we just saw. Well, you've, you've got to have a good basketball like you because not only are there a lot of sets, but a lot of sets will start the same way and they'll end differently. So right there, as Olenek knocks down the free throw, you run that weave action, often you'll see one of the bigs come up for a ball screen. There you see both bigs come up to the free throw line. That's a 1-4 high. You change the look. And because GU can run so many different things, they can change things from week to week, which makes them difficult to scout. Rensifer, that's a deep three over Harris. And Olenek with the rebound. You know, I think if you talk about playbooks throughout the college game, Gonzaga's probably got one of the thicker ones in the college game. Stockton showing some spark there. Couldn't get it to drop. Anderson spins and shoot two. That's Johnny D averaging 15 points a game coming in. He's got four. Once again, and there's a stat sheet around here somewhere with the, the big players that Gonzaga has defended against in this league. They do a tremendous job against the best players. Yeah, they've they've accepted the challenge. Not this year, come out on top. Johnny D played really well down there in, in early February. Gonzaga's scouting report let's take him out of the equation tonight, and they've done that in the first half and early in the second. They make you work. You know, I don't think people look at GU and think that's a, it's a great perimeter defensive team. Uh, and even up front, you don't block a lot of shots, but what you do is guys are always in the right position. It's an excellent team concept. Team defensive strategy, guys know where to be, and often that's all you need to do. The officials get together and they give possession to USD. But Foster with Santa Clara scored four points here. Norm Jackson, Pepperdine scored just nine. Cole Dickerson was shut out. Tyler Hawes, one point. But it's the field goals, too. Foster's two of ten. Jackson's mm. three of twelve. Dickerson only gets four shots. Oh! Olenek getting up there. And you talk about great defense? Yeah. He was in help side. He got to the strong side early enough to give him a chance to make that play right there. Kelly Olenek defending the rim in Spokane. 15-58 to play. Gonzaga up by 20. Welcome back. Time now for tonight's Arby's trivia question. What is the Gonzaga record for the most regular season victories? Is it 18, 26, 22, or 28? Text your answer to 27297. We'll have that for you a little bit later in the broadcast. Twenty point lead for Gonzaga, 47-27 our lead. And as we take a look at what Kelly Olinick did right before the last break. Guys, he's seven feet tall. Yeah. It, he's I don't know. Do we sit here and say he's more athletic than we thought he was? Oh. He doesn't have the quickest feet, but yet you see a play like that. He's seven feet going up high. He's got good feet. Maybe not the quickest feet. He's not a great, you know, standstill jumper. But if he gets on the move and gets a step, he's vertical. You saw it right there. Off the inbound. Manresa with a chance for three. That's just a tough play if you're Gonzaga. Giving up a layup off a of baseline yeah, inbound play almost from the corner. Yeah, you don't see that very often. Breakdown on the weak side there for sure. Manresa now with 14 points for San Diego. Just two rebounds there. And a 60% free throw shooter is now five of seven from the free throw line. He's five of six from the floor. The rest of the team six of 21. Olenek in deep. And that drop. <laughs> Kelly now starting to stack him up. He's got 12. Yeah, 23 out of, pardon me, 24 out of his last 30 field goals attempt. I mean, he is shooting the ball at an unbelievable clip, fellas. And it's not just inside, outside. It's a combination of everything. He's really feeling it offensively right now. He's really comfortable right now with his game. And you can see it because he takes his time. 
Harris slotted that attempt by Ransom Kirk. Stockton at the other end. Great push and transition, leaving, getting the defense turn, finishing at the rim. Sinis for three, that's off. And Ressa poked it away from Stockton. Pangos ran it down. Here's Harris. Shoot that right, Dan. Let that thing fly, <laughs> David. Come on now. Give me a jersey. I'll go out there and shoot it. But once you hesitate, you do got to back it out, right? Reset. Yeah, you know, he has a shot at the way he's capable of it in the league, but still, you're wide open. Let that thing fly. Pangos will. Turn down a good shot, get a great one. Yeah. <laughs> Gonzaga leads by 24. This is the largest of the game, and Bill Greer wants a timeout. He just wants to slow momentum down. But you know that decision to shoot or not shoot, you guys know a split second. And so if you don't feel it, you don't make that decision, it's not a bad thing to back out. Sometimes the hardest shots are the ones that you're wide open. Harris with the defense. David Stockton with the vision and then the cruise control 24 point game in Spokane. West Coast Conference standings. We know why this is important to Gonzaga. They're trying to get to 14 and 0 and a league championship. San Diego at six and seven guys. Very important. They trying to get to that fourth seed. It's about seedings in the West Coast Conference Tournament. They won their first four. They're two of seven since. Yeah, they've had a lot of close games. and They've lost to Santa Clara twice. So they'll play San Francisco and Pepperdine next weekend if they can win those games at home. They'll definitely finish fifth. And Santa Clara winning today at Portland. That's a team I can't figure out. Man, there are some stud players on that team. Olenek yeah, makes it out of Four guys on Santa Clara's ball club that have scored a thousand points over their career. When we called the game down there, yeah. we were really impressed when we, when we left that game. And they just have struggled as they've gotten in the league, and that's what makes the league difficult. You know, non-conference, you're playing programs that aren't familiar with you. But once you get in the league, everybody knows everybody's offense, and things get a little more difficult. Cameron Miles with the drive and the finger roll. The guys, you see it with with Gonzaga this year. There's obviously tremendous players on this floor for Jimmy, but it's the chemistry I think that makes the difference. And maybe Santa Clara doesn't have great team chemistry. They've got great players. You know, I think you probably, without knowing inside details of the Santa Clara program, you probably hit it right on the head. Chemistry is such a huge thing in team sports. No look through bottom corner, three ball, good. Rubaro has really emerged in the last month for Gonzaga at six foot five. Richard, you talked in the early part of the season that this team could have trouble with bigger guards. He might be the answer to that. You know, offensively, he's doing what they need, stretching the floor, shooting threes, well over 55 percent from three in conference. But he's starting to pick up some of the traits that Mike Hart has, getting his hands on loose balls, offensive rebounds, those kind of things. I really like Barham. You know, he's second in the league with that 55 percent from three. I mean, as we see the block, G really shutting things down. Olenek with another block at the rim. But with Barham, he stretches your defense. You know, when you have Hart out there, teams can really help off of Mike. It's not that he's a, not ineffective offensively, but when you put Barham out there, it stretches. That's one less help defender on Olenek, Harris. He provides a nice change of pace for you off the bench. Offensive foul on GU. This is on Olenek, his second, team's fourth. Drew Barham is an interesting kid, too. Smart transfer from Memphis with his degree. He's an artist, not into video games. He played on an Athletes in Action tour a couple summers ago. Um, with a coach that I know very well, and he has nothing but good things to say about him. He said he's going to add a lot of things to the Gonzaga program, and he obviously has this year. Coke with a miss. There's Pangos. There's Barham. And what you like about Barham, like right there, that's a shot. But he's not going to force anything. He doesn't hurt you offensively. He only takes good shots in rhythm, as you see. Again, high low action. Wow. Now 
often we see that Olenek to Dower inside. And it's tough to defend against. And look at Olenek out there creating havoc. Barham, look out! Wow. Spokane. The Zags on a 14 to 2 run. Well, if you have any question whether well, or not Olinick can get up, take a look at that. Wow. With the left hand. Yeah, That's the nice just... play of the game. Sponsored by Cost Cutters. Get in, get confident. Visit one of seven local Cost Cutter salons today. Cost Cutters, Gonzaga's number one hair salon. Throw it down, big fella. <laughs> Boom goes the diamond. Wow, how many more of these you got in you, buddy? I, I, know mean, I know it's our last game of the year, but. You know, you got this crowd really going right now. I mean, it's got us excited. You know, we've had another good year of broadcasting. It's been a lot of fun, but this team and this crowd makes it even more fun. It's got to be tough on some level for the coaching staff and even these players. Just not wanting to get right now to the March dance let's just get there yeah I think you're ready to play but uh, you know hey you lost the league last year and that's been a big goal for this ball club and I know for a guy like Elias Harris and Mike Hart getting back that championship is critical there's a charge Gonzaga so lost that championship last year for the first time in 11 seasons only those great UCLA teams have had one more consecutive league titles than Gonzaga with 13. They may be beginning another streak here today. We'll be right back. And here's the answer to Arby's trivia question. The most or the Gonzaga record for most regular season victories is 26. And ladies and gentlemen, this just happened. It looks like Micah Downs' little brother wearing a Adam Morris and Charlotte Bobcats jersey for 2100 bucks. He just canned it from half court. He can't believe it. Here's another. There's a great look. Whack! That's awesome. <laughs> His reaction is priceless. Where's LeBron? I mean, shouldn't shouldn't LeBron be tackling <laughs> he him right should now? Be.